We'll have all the weekend sport and chatting to our latest boxing champ, Natasha Gale. And I'll be talking to you about how I won my European gold medal. It was only our first championships as well. Now, last week, leaders Natasha Gale became just the second Great Britain boxer to become a European champion, the other one being one Nicola Adams. What makes it all the more of an achievement, it was her first major tournament after only taking up the sport at the age of 24. She and her shiny new medal are with us. <laughs> Has it even sunk in that that is yours? Um, I know it's mine, but it hasn't actually sunk in because I haven't put it up on the shelf with the rest of them. I'm, I've kept it down and I just keep looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> when I spoke to you before, you were just you were so excited about going. Yeah. Did you think, though, in that excitement, that you could realistically come home with the gold? Um, I believed in myself 100%, um, but when I got there, I wanted to take it each bout at a time and just experience it, as I told you before, and just get the feel for my first major. Um, and as the fights went on, I was like, oh my God, I'm getting so close. It's happening, it's really gonna happen. And I just grew in confidence after each, each bout. It is incredible, it's your first major t uh, championships. I mean, you, why did you take up the sport at 24? Why leave it so late? I actually, it's my best friend, Curtis. He actually got me Curtis into Adams, it. Curtis Adams, who is Nicola's brother, we yeah. should say. <laughs> he got me into it. We always, like, wrestle and just play a fight. I know it sounds weird. <laughs> <laughs> you just play a fight and your best friend. But we used to just mess about and play a fight and train together in the gym and stuff. And he just always said I had the natural knack for it and I was strong and I should try it. And he introduced me to Alwyn uh, Belcher, my, my tech coach, and also Nick's tech coach. And then as soon as I met him, we was just like that together. So I moved to Sheffield and the rest was history, yeah. So what now for you? Um, I don't think we've got anything until January. Hopefully we'll have um, a couple in the beginning of the year. Um, but then it gives me time to develop because I haven't been doing it that long. Um, so these areas that we want to develop on, you know, technique, getting things correct and just making like, m you know, adjustments and improving. And, and you're going to have a battle royal, aren't you, with the other middleweight in the Great Britain squad, Savannah Marshall. Yeah. She went to the Olympics. She's a former world champion. I know you faced each other a year ago, but you've come on a heck of a long way. Yeah. Uh, is it what you're going to be fighting each other daily for that spot in Tokyo for well, 2020? We do actually spar while we're on squad, and it's so people think it's bizarre, but it's actually not mean we get on really well. But then when we get in the ring, it's just game on. Um, so we, we, you know, it's just natural competition. Everyone's got it in the, in the camp. There's always two sixties, there's two seventy fives, there's two fifty ones, and you just got to fight for your spot. Shiny gold medal as well to, yeah. to show her. Um, are you dreaming of Tokyo? Do you dare Oh, to? definitely. Like I told you just before the Europeans that it's a daily thing. And I laughed and we had a laugh and said, I know my speech. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you added yeah, another paragraph now? I have now. <laughs> but um, no, nah, I think about it every day. It's not a day that I don't think about it. It's the end goal for me. And um, yeah, I'm well, definitely aiming for that. Many congratulations. Thank we you look very forward much. to seeing you with the next medals. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Just to mark your card.